Skylab B was a proposed second U.S. space station similar to Skylab that was planned to be launched by NASA for different purposes, mostly involving the Apollo Soyuz test project, but was cancelled due to lack of funding. Two Skylab modules were built in 1970 by McDonnell Douglas for the Skylab program, originally the Apollo Applications Program. The first was launched in 1973 and the other put in storage, while NASA considered how to use the remaining assets from Apollo. One considered option was to use Saturn VSA-515 to launch the backup Skylab station into orbit sometime between January 1975 and April 1976. That way, it could expand the Apollo-Soyuz mission by 56 to 90 days. Further proposals were made for an international Skylab, launched using Saturn VSA-514. This station would have been serviced by Apollo, Soyuz and later by the Space Shuttle. Topic: <laughs> Potential uses. Some uses considered for the second Skylab module included putting it into a rotation mode where it could generate artificial gravity and a plan to celebrate the 1976 United States Bicentennial with the launch of two Soviet Soyuz missions to the backup Skylab. When the Apollo Soyuz test project was created in 1972, NASA had also considered launching the backup Skylab station during the ASTP mission in 19. 1975, which would involve the Apollo spacecraft docking with the Soyuz spacecraft first, performing intended operations, then heading for the Skylab B, which during the ASTP discussion was originally called the International Skylab, for a 56 to 90 days extended mission. Actually the earlier suggestion by McDonnell Douglas was to achieve a massive station by combining Salyut 1 with Skylab B. This would be achieved by launching an Apollo with a multiple docking adapter with four docking ports to be able to dock both stations and a both servicing vehicles Soyuz and Apollo, for future missions. The station, which would have then been called the Advanced Skylab, could have been expanded by the Space Shuttle, which was due to enter service in 1979. At the time 1973, the idea was discussed, NASA still had two Saturn V launches SA-514 and SA-515, three Saturn IB boosters SA-209, SA-210, SA-211, the backup Skylab space station Skylab B, three Apollo CSMs CSM-117, CSM-118 and CSM-119 and two lunar modules in storage LM-13, LM-14. However, after the first Skylab was launched in May 1973, the plan for the Skylab B was cancelled and the Apollo – Soyuz spacecraft had to use the docking module launched on the Apollo Saturn IB for performing experiments in space. After Project Apollo ended and as NASA was moving to developing the Space Shuttle, the remaining Apollo hardware was donated to museums in 1976. <laughs> <laughs> Possible crew It was expected at the time by those involved that the initial crew would be the crew which served as backup for Skylab 3 and Skylab 4, and was kept in reserve for the Skylab rescue mission minus the science pilot. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Existing hardware. Topic. <laughs> Apollo CSM The Apollo Command Module CSM-119 was originally used for Skylab rescue. Saturn IB 
Saturnib SA-209 was originally used for Skylab rescue. Saturnib SA-211 was unused. Saturn V The Saturn V SA-514 was originally designated for cancelled Apollo 19. First stage SIC-14 on display at Johnson Space Center, second and third stages SE-14, SIV-14 on display at Kennedy Space Center. The S-2 interstage is located at Parque de las Ciencias. Saturn VSA-515 was originally designated for Apollo 20, later as a backup Skylab launch vehicle. The first stage SE is on display at Mashoud Assembly Facility. The second stage SE is on display at Johnson Space Center. The third stage is the Skylab B orbital workshop on display at the National Air and Space Museum. On display in the museum's space hall since 1976, the orbital workshop has been slightly modified to permit viewers to walk through the living quarters. Topic airlock module An airlock module is on display at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. Topic training mockups A full size mock up once used for astronaut training is located at the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center Visitors Center in Houston, Texas. Another full size training mock up is at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Originally displayed indoors, it was subsequently stored outdoors for several years to make room for other exhibits. To mark the 40th anniversary of the Skylab program, the orbital workshop portion of the trainer was restored and moved into the Davidson Center in 2013. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Multiple docking adapter. Multiple docking adapter is on display at the Kennedy Space Center visitor complex.